Hi, it's Angie. I'm just coming on um, to show you something that I did today and a couple of days ago. Um, this has actually inspired me to do something else today. So I made this tag and it's just made out of two manila envelopes stuck back to back, a piece of nice paper on the back so somebody can write on it if they want to. Um, and what I did was I, I gessoed it first of all and then I added a layer of this the distress collage medium the crazy and i was hoping to get like that bit of like crackled effect but actually because i'd put it over gesso it wouldn't work it needs to be on a non-porous surface so if, um i'd need to put it straight onto something like the paper or card for it to crackle i think but i do like the effect it's sort of given a bit of a bumpy lumpy sort of texture uh, but of course because it then put like almost like a cover of um i suppose like a matte medium like a, a glaze almost across it um I, I couldn't ink on it so i then had to put a layer of gesso on but i didn't want to lose like the color and that that was there so i put a layer of clear gesso on um which kept i it i got a bit of resin that around the edge and it looked really nice so i wanted to keep that so i said i put the layer of clear gesso on and then I used a stamp, um, I haven't got that one here unfortunately, and it's a massive butterfly, that's just part of it there, the other bit is down there. Um, and then behind the butterfly it's like a wheel, or half a wheel, and there's actually like horoscopy type things on there. It's an absolutely gorgeous stamp, but I didn't want the stamp too like, obvious, I wanted it... Um, almost like a second generation stamp in, so I made sure that the ink wasn't too inky if if you get me so the colors i've used on it i've only used two colors i've used distress oxide speckled egg which is like a grayish blue and i use this i love this color the aged mahogany it's like a it's like a red brown so they're the two colors that i've used on there and i've, I've colored a little bit of cheesecloth um this was already avocado dyed so it had a bit of a color on it and i just added a bit of the um speckled egg onto there and i use some stamps to make marks see like the circles that's just like a stamp again in the aged mahogany some more there i just drew a, a stitch line in green around the edge um i've put a little ticket up it's not completely flat it's got it's like raised in the middle it's there is a little butterfly on there and i've used some um a sort of word stamp just here and there just to add a little bit of you know words but what i did up the top was i glued to i cut five or punched rather five circles i think it's an in, um an inch circle punch um stamped five of them glued them together put an eyelet in the center there and then i inked around the edge and then I stamped with the, um, what's it called again? Speckled egg. But sorry, before I stamped, I just basically what was on my brushes and just sort of added a bit of the ink, just really, really lightly. Then used a, a, a grid stamp, which is this one here. Kaiser Craft had that years and years. Um, can you see on the thing, like a grid? Well, that's that stamp. And then the text that I've used is, I love this stamp. I've been using it so much. It's a Mali Express. A little, I'm going to do something with the bingo card next. But I used, um, I think it was that one actually. I used a bit of that. Today I've been using that long one here, using different parts of that. But there's so many bits of text on this stamp that you could use on your embellishments and stuff. It's absolutely lovely. I love that stamp. Um, and also, incidentally, the eyelets, um, I'd nearly run out. And what I got was these the, by Draper Tools. And you get a pack of 400 and they are 4mm. So they're absolutely perfect for what I need. And I set them with my crocodile. And I'm probably not going to get this off one-handed. Hold on. <laughs> Hang on. There we go. They're all like vintage colours, you know, vintage, there's silver, there's like black, excuse my inky fingers, 
there's two different colour golds because I had just a few of the other gold left and there's like a I don't know if it's a rose gold or a bronze and a pewter really really nice um selection and I say you get 500 and I paid 4.95 on eBay that includes the postage I originally got them in home bargains just a few with like a setting tool but I do use my cropper dial um if you buy like proper eyelets you know like for crafting they're like um, the ones I've seen are anything between about 364 ish upwards for 60 so you know they're not cheap it's a ridiculous price so I just use those so what that inspired me to do today was to make some of these like faux eyelet things would you call them and I've done like both sides um, and I'm doing a swap with um, my friend Charlie um, a vintage swap so I thought these would be lovely you could either she can take the twine off if she wants and put other um, strings or yarn or whatever through depending on what she's doing but I just thought they look quite nice with the that on to start with she can either just glue it onto to a tag like I did or she could use them in a journal or on a page I just thought these how lovely would these be in a journal just as a well just just as I say either on a tag or just on your page just as a you know an image I thought there was something you know quite sweet so yeah so doing that tag inspired me to make these so I just thought I'd share them with you so I've got a little bit of stamping on them the crisscross that crisscross I did use just on the back just a little bit of that faded jeans it was just a very slightly deeper blue can you see just slightly deeper um, and the fronts actually probably have a little bit of faded jeans rubbed on them as well you know just what was on my sponge so yeah that's them so I'm going to go and package these nicely I've made eight well I've made nine because I've put eight in the package and then I've got one that I'll when I've packaged it I'll put it on the bag as like a topper as part of the like presentation so thanks for watching everyone take care bye